Hey, this is Steve from Flowmaster. Today I'm happy to introduce our new Delta Force cooler intake for the fourth generation Challenger equipped with a 3.6 liter V6 motor. But please check our website for the different years to make sure that it fits your application. Now this Delta Force cooler intake has a washable, reusable high flow filter that comes pre-oiled, a black powder coated heat shield, a durable polyethylene intake tube with a nice rib design and the Flowmaster logo right here in the center, reinforced silicone couplers, anodized fittings, all stainless steel hardware, and this is 100% direct bolt into the factory mounted location in the vehicle. This is also backed up by a lifetime limited warranty. Now, the tools for the job are 516 nut driver, pair of pliers, 716 wrench, half inch wrench, three quarter inch, quarter inch drive ratchet, quarter inch drive 732nd Allen, quarter inch drive quarter Allen, and a 532nd Allen. All Flowmaster products are dyno tuned during the development phases for maximum power gains and efficiency. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm ready to get this installed in this Challenger over here. Okay, we're in the shop today. We get ourselves a 2014 Dodge Challenger with a 3.6 liter. We're going to get ready to remove that stock airbox assembly and get ready to put on the new Delta Force cooler intake. So let's get started. Okay, first we're going to start off by removing the engine cover. Once the engine cover is removed, we're going to go ahead and loosen up the clamp at the airbox, loosen up the clamp at the throttle body. We're going to go ahead and disconnect the sensor, and then we're going to go ahead and pull off the breather hose. And then we're going to go ahead and remove this bolt and set it aside because we're going to use it later. We're first going to take off the engine cover. We're going to simply pull up. Okay, we're going to loosen up these clamps here. We're going to start with this one here first at the air box. And then we're going to loosen up the clamp at the throttle body. Okay, next we're going to go ahead and disconnect the sensor right here. It's got a little button on the side of it. Okay. Next, we're going to go ahead and disconnect the hard plastic breather line right here. I'm just going to pull it off. Next, we're going to go ahead and remove this bolt that's holding on the air box. Okay, we're going to go ahead and pull off this hose off the air box. And then we're going to pull off this hose here at the throttle body. Now we're going to go ahead and pull the stock air box out. Just pull straight up. Okay, we got our stock airbox assembly out. We're ready to go ahead and start on the new Delta Force colder intake. Okay, we got our Delta Force colder intake laid out on the table with all our necessary tools. We're ready to go ahead and start off with the heat shield first. We're gonna go ahead and put the air filter adapter on. It goes on the inside of the heat shield. Then we're gonna line up these three holes. Then we're gonna go ahead and put an Allen bolt. It's gonna have a lock washer, then a flat washer. Okay. Okay, next we're gonna go ahead and put on one of the brackets. We're gonna start with this one here first. And this bracket's got two holes. It's got a bigger diameter hole down here and the smaller diameter. The smaller diameter is gonna go on the inside of the heat shield, like so. And then we're gonna go ahead and put a bolt through the bracket and then through the heat shield. And then on the back side here, we're gonna go ahead and put on a flat washer, a lock washer, and then a nut. Now we're just going to leave this hand tighten so we get in the vehicle and then we can do the final orientation on the bracket. Okay, next we're going to put on the other bracket. Now this one here has got a nice rounded edge to it, or this one here has got kind of an angled cut. The rounded edge is going to be the top part. So this is going to go on the side of the heat shield, like so. And then we're going to go ahead and put a bolt through the bracket and then through the heat shield. And then on the back side, we're going to put the flat washer, a lock washer, and then a nut. And again, we're just only gonna hand tighten this one. We wanna leave it loose so we can get that final orientation. Okay, next we're gonna go ahead and put on our heat shield gasket. Now, this comes in excess length, so you may need to trim it to fit your heat shield. So we're gonna go ahead and start here at the bottom, and then we're just gonna kinda work our way all the way around. Okay, we got our heat shield gasket on. 
Okay, next we're gonna go ahead and put the heat shield into the vehicle and then get that final orientation of those brackets and go ahead and install this. Okay, these are gonna be our two factory mounting points right here. Um, in the kit, there's gonna be a weld nut and it's gonna push into this hole right here. Okay, next we're gonna go ahead and put the heat shield down. Okay, next we're going to go ahead and install the bolt supplied in the hardware. This is going to go through this bracket and then into that weld nut. Okay, next we're going to go ahead and put that stock bolt back in. It's going to go through the bracket first. Okay. Okay, now that we got our two brackets bolted down to the factory mounting points of the vehicle, now we know the orientation of these brackets. So we're gonna go ahead and tighten down the brackets to the heat shield now. Okay, we got our heat shield secured down to the factory mounting points of the vehicle. Now we're ready to go ahead and put some parts on the intake tube. Okay, we got the air intake tube right here. We're gonna go ahead and put the intake tube mounting bracket on. And this is gonna put it on with the supplied hardware. It's gonna be an Allen bolt with a lock washer and then a flat washer. And it just screws into the intake tube here. Okay, you wanna leave this one just slightly loose. It does have a little bit of room for adjustment. And we're gonna finally tighten it up once it's in the vehicle. Okay, next, we're gonna go ahead and install the anodized fitting. You wanna make sure you put some Teflon tape on the threads. And we're gonna go ahead and install it here on the intake tube. Okay. Okay, next, we're gonna go ahead and put on the grommet. This is where the sensor is gonna go. Okay, next, we're gonna go ahead and take the stock sensor off. We're gonna go ahead and twist it, and this will unlock it. And then we go ahead and pull up, it comes right out. Okay, next, we got the sensor here. We're gonna go ahead and peel off the O-ring. Okay. Now we're gonna go ahead and put it through the grommet on our intake tube. Now there is a certain way that it's gotta go on. And I'll show you here the orientation once it's installed. Okay. Now you can see our sensor. Now you can see here, this is the correct orientation that your sensor needs to be. Okay, next we're gonna go ahead and put on the breather hose. Now this may come in excess length, so you get a trim it to fit your car. We're gonna go ahead and push it on to the anodized fitting here. And then now we're gonna go ahead and install the supplied hose clamp. Okay. Next we're gonna go ahead and install the reinforced couplers that go on the ends of the intake tube. We're going to start with this one here first. This has got the hump right here. This is going to go on to the air box side, which is down here by the breather hose. We're going to go ahead and just push it on. And we're going to go ahead and leave the clamp loose. We can allow for a final adjustment once it's on the vehicle. Now the other reinforced coupler, this is going to go on the sensor side here. This is basically the throttle body. I'm just going to push it on a little bit. Okay. Okay, now we're ready to go ahead and install the intake tube. We're gonna go ahead and slide it on to the heat shield side first. I'm gonna go ahead and rotate it. And we'll push it on to the throttle body side. Okay, we're gonna bolt up the intake tube mounting bracket to the engine. Right, in the kit, there's another supplied weld nut. We're gonna go ahead and push this in to this hole right here. And we're gonna push the bracket up. And now with the supplied hardware, we're going to stick our bolt through the bracket and then through the weld nut and then you're going to screw it in. Okay, we got our bolt through the weld nut. Now you can see the threads on the back side. We're going to go ahead and put our rubber washer on. It comes supplied in the kit. Now we're going to put a flat washer on and then we're going to go ahead and put a nut on. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and tighten this up. Okay, we got our intake tube mounting bracket mounted to the motor. Now we're gonna go ahead and tighten up these brackets that go to the actual intake tube now. 
Okay. Okay, next we're gonna go ahead and tighten up the reinforced coupler that goes to the heat shield side. We're gonna go ahead and push this up against the heat shield. Then we're gonna go ahead and tighten down the clamp. And then we'll go ahead and tighten up the other clamp here, now to the intake tube. Okay. Next, we're gonna go ahead and tighten up the reinforced coupler to the throttle body. We're gonna go ahead and push the coupler all the way onto the throttle body and go ahead and tighten down. And now we're gonna go ahead and tighten up this clamp. It goes to the intake tube. Okay. Next, we're gonna go ahead and re-plug in the sensor here. We're gonna push it in until we hear it snap. Okay. Okay, next, we're gonna go ahead and connect the breather hose. Just gonna push this on. Okay. Next, we're gonna go ahead and put on the air filter here. Okay, next, we're gonna go ahead and reinstall the engine cover. Okay, that concludes our installation here on our Delta Force cooler intake for the fourth generation Challenger equipped with a 3.6 liter V6 motor. Installation time is roughly about 30 to 45 minutes. Hope you enjoyed and thanks for watching.